Hey everyone, welcome back to the Abadju channel. In this video, we will show you some of our experiences from inside the Fabtech exhibition. Fabtech is North America's largest metal forming, fabricating, welding and finishing event. Fabtech took place this year in Atlanta, Georgia. There were three huge halls with booths. The main hall is the welding hall. The major manufacturers of welding equipment were represented there, including Lincoln, Miller, Fronius, as well as robot manufacturers Fanuc, Puka, Yaskawa and Kawasaki. Abadji's booth was located here. We came up with some cool features that helped us stand out at Fabtech. We decided to set up several robotic cells so that the visitors could test different equipment. As you might remember, a badge is compatible with different brands. And most importantly, we decided to not just simulate welding, which is the usual approach at exhibitions, but we decided to actually weld on the booth. We prepared our equipment in our demo center in Chicago, and we have a nice video of this too. After testing in Chicago, we brought two tons of metal for our demo at the booth in Atlanta. Here we are in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia at the World Congress Center. And we're gonna show you some demonstration welds. Peter, take it away. Sure, we've got two cells. The one with the Fanuc robot and Lincoln welding source, and it has a positioner with it. You can take a closer look to it. So there's a circular part on it, pretty complicated one. But on the other cell, we've got a little simpler setup with a Kawasaki robot on, on it and a Miller welding source. But we don't only do welding here, we're also having fun. So take a closer look. We don't only do the regular welding, we do fun welding as well. Can you tell us what we're seeing here? Yeah, that's the part you've just seen inside the cell. And what we'll do right now, we will weld the actual part. So to do that, it's really simple. You just need to, to perform one click on the part and that's all you need to do and it's all the programming required for it so after that you can just send the part to the production so the software is doing all the path planning itself you don't need to give it any instructions so. yep that's correct moreover you don't even need to place the part in the same point because uh, the machine will scan the working zone and we will identify the real part position so you can see that's the part, and that's the part after the scanning. So very simply, anything in green is weldable area. Anything that's outside of that gray or red is not a weldable area. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. So the machine will now perform touch sensing. So that's used as a validation to match the drawing and what we're seeing and what the... What the yep, yeah, that's correct. As soon as it's done with these few touch points, then it'll start welding, correct? That's correct. Okay. So, Right, right after you told me that it's about to start, it's actually did. <laughs> we chose a demo format that allowed us to show the maximum amount of features of Abadji software in the shortest amount of time. Because there were a lot of people who wanted to see the demo. Hundreds of people. Well, we're attending the convention looking to get into the robotics welding mainly. We're a manufacturing facility where we build truss trailers in Fargo, North Dakota. And uh, the labor force is extremely difficult. We can't find the, the people we need to be able to produce uh, the equipment that we do. So we're looking in ways to make our shop more efficient. And this seems to be a very user-friendly and robust system that we think we can uh, bring into our facility fairly easily. We build uh, railroad tanks, so they're very large pieces of, uh, of, of product that we're, we're trying to 
to build. We have a few robotic cells where we build components that go onto the tank. So right now it takes very skilled labor to run those, those robotic cells. Uh, if we have any variation in our parts, it's, it's difficult to overcome. And we often have times where we have to repair our welds. So looking at the technology uh, that y'all are offering, we can, we can do some adaptive fills for variations that we have in our parts. Uh, if we have a misposition of parts, it can handle that. And it can even let us know if we have things in the way like a clamp or something like that so we don't have crashes. So um, we're pretty excited about, uh, about bringing y'all's technology into our plant and uh, retrofitting our equipment. I think it's the, the possibility in the near future. So we're looking for uh, automated systems that are flexible for uh, high mix, low volume production. And this uh, system has shown good strength in that area and may allow us to do quite a lot more with automation than we thought was possible. We're from Canada, uh, but it's a shortage over the entire world. And so um, this, is a, this is a solution to that. Uh, we love employing people. Uh, but when there's people, when there's no people to be employed, uh, we have no choice. We've uh, decided to uh, take a serious look at robotic technology uh, in our weld shop. And uh, this is the second visit we've had with your company. And uh, we're excited with uh, the offering that's on the table now. So it's going to help us out with uh, throughput, uh, manpower, and, and reduce our overall uh, costs to increase margin. Many manufacturers point out that labor shortage is a huge factor, and this is common across many different countries. In the United States in particular, according to the American Welding Society and US Bureau of Labor Statistics, by 2024, the shortage of welders may reach 400,000 people. So, Instead of worrying about the robotics industry taking the jobs of humans, it's not the case in welding, because Abadji aims to boost the productivity of the current welding workforce. Our software is an innovative tool for workers, not instead of workers. Automation is the next step. It's not necessarily to overcome. It is, well, a market reality is it is overcoming a welder shortage. That's the market reality. But you still need that welding knowledge. You still need folks entering welding careers. So it's, it's not about auto, uh, manual welding versus automated welding. Uh, I rarely see a shop that integrates robotics these days where manual welders are scared for their jobs because they know, especially if they can communicate well and know the welding process. But more and more, you see uh, innovative solutions where you have just uh, click and go. And you're seeing you know, various technologies, yours obviously, but others as well, where um, a welder with knowledge can do a lot. The Abadji user does not need to know programming language. He just needs to know welding language. With Abadji, a welder can become much more productive because he will weld not only manually, but also with robots. At Fabtech, Austin, aka Dr. Welds, tried a badgie for himself. And one of the hardest things that I found in this industry is evolving to the technology that's changing. Welding machines are, are changing, uh, welding torches are changing, technology is changing to help make welders' lives easier. It's not about taking jobs, it's about creating new tools for welders to get used to. So one thing that I've, I've found that I love about my job is the constant evolution that goes into it. So let's jump on a plane, let's fly to Atlanta, and let's see what this robot from Abigy has, has got going on over there. Let's go. Good morning, Dimitri. How are you? Good morning, I'm fine. How are you today? Doing great. Wonderful great. place here, Fabtech. Absolutely. We got a lot of cool stuff behind us, don't we? Yes, yes. Yeah. So you just need basic common welding knowledge. Absolutely. That's it. Yes. It's a tool, right? Yes, Robots, it's a tool. They're, they're not yeah. replacing us, right? Yes. Absolutely. You can't replace the welder. You got to yeah. have us. Because We're here. Actually, you know, robots cannot do anything without a welder knowledge. Yeah. Right. I think that this is a great opportunity to help that welder shortage that we have yeah. in the industry. This is a great product to help kind of 
show these 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 up and comers that there's just way more to it than just yeah absolutely just so. pulling a trigger. We can actually set up a robot yeah. to our basic knowledge and use yeah. it as a tool. And it, it really is about educating the end user about what's out there and what you can actually do with the welding process. Yeah, absolutely. So addressing the welder shortage, we can try to do that in different ways. We can try to involve more people in the industry. That's for sure what we need to do. But there is another way to make people who are already in the industry, to make them much more effective with the new technologies. That was nice and smooth, Dimitri. Nice and smooth. I like the sound of that pulse MIG. It's like a party. <laughs> yeah. It beats me doing it. That welded really quick. Yeah. Got it done in a hurry. Yeah. Hey, Dimitri, really impressive stuff you guys got going on here at Abadji. Really cool products, really cool. It's fascinating what y'all are able to come up with. And I think it's really gonna help maybe even that welder shortage, just educating yeah. these these end users and educating these new kids and everything coming up and not be scared of a robot, right? They're not yep. taking our jobs, yep. right? They're helping our jobs. At Fabtech, the key manufacturers of robots and welding equipment took part. We're talking Fronius, Lincoln, Miller, Fanuc, Kuka, Yaskawa, and Kawasaki. The Abadji team is very proud to have partnerships with these industry leaders. We work with Abaji over in Europe, and you've seen these lower um, lower volumes and high mix customers that are coming out of the woodwork, right? This is all coming when it comes to the labor shortage, when it comes to skilled workers and skilled welders. So I think in general, we're seeing, even on our side, more customers are coming to us looking for solutions. The Abaji software is really interesting in that you don't actually have to be a robot expert in order to use it. With the Abaji software, what, what I've been very impressed with is the fact of the ease that it can be programmed, a robotic cell. And in fact, a, uh, a welder himself can actually uh, do that program and get that robotic cell into operation very quickly. With some of the new softwares, it's actually opening up this whole market. And that market's as big, if not bigger, than the high volume market with job shops. Um, there's job shops with three or four guys that can use this technology all the way up to job shops with 300 people. Our expectation is, is the technology of being able to scan a part and automatically generate robot kinematics is going to expand our market to get us into customers that we haven't been able to touch with robots because of the difficulty programming. And I think uh, high mix, low volume is exactly where this technology shines. We also do a lot of work with the automotive business. Obviously that's very repeatable, very similar products but our really our GI customers, general industry customers, need this technology, again, as they look at solving many issues, labor issues and everything else. Fabtech was an awesome three-day adventure, and Abadji has already booked its booth for next year. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll be back next time in the lab working on excavator buckets. So see you then. Subscribe, leave comments. Good luck. Thank mm -hmm. you.